I have an Attack Falcon 4 that I'm inspecting today. And see this, pretty common. Um, that tang, you see how it's kind of smashed in right there, kind of stretched. And then what happens is this wire, it's usually from breaking the down tube or the control bar flopping out and smashing into it when you're setting up. Let's see, this smashed up into here, into the plug, but that's okay, this, this thing will survive, but these wires really should be replaced. Both of them are like that. Control bar looks fine, but it is missing that uh, valve stem cap for the wheels. Base tube is a little bit bent, but it's okay. It's usable, that happens with wheels a lot. This sleeve was a little damaged, was not sliding back into here, and it should, and just except for this neural part right here that you pound in. But I just took a minute to uh, rub it with sandpaper and uh, to smooth it out, and goes in good now. Uh, damaged safety ring on a down tube. I'll replace that. It looks like both these down tubes were uh, broken at one point, left and right. On this crossbar, this is something the owner noticed. The bolt was a little bit loose, and it looks like um, this one of these brackets is tweaked a little bit. One of that, that inner bottom one. And let's see if I can just tweak it back slightly with some pliers. It looks like the previous owner of this, this is like an 11 year old glider, had um, short packed this thing and uh, when he was putting it back together, he reached inside the sail and uh, put this tape on as best he could, uh, reaching in there, but uh, I'm gonna take it off and put some tape on a little cleaner. It's supposed to be nice and smooth over this fastener, the safety ring, just for less abrasion against the sail. I'm in the process of getting the sail back on, but I found that this thing is coming off a little too easily. So um, I don't have any of this stuff with me. It's just so the crossbar slides against it easily. Um, so I'm gonna try putting some adhesive on it and see if I can just get, the, get it to stick that way. This nose batten has been flattened. That's the way they normally go when you turtle the glider. It kind of flattens it out right here. Um, messes up the camera. And these are 13 millimeter, it's a 13 millimeter nose batten, I believe. So anyway, it's uh, the thick tubing and it's, or the thin walled, you know, wide tubing, and it's really hard to bend back without snapping it in two. So it might be okay. You know, maybe it'll fly fine the way it is. Um, we'll see. Otherwise, uh, maybe he wants to order another one. Well, that's over. I didn't show you guys, but here's what happened. The, this rivet came out of this bracket, and so um, that's what holds the down tubes onto the keel. Um, it's not, I don't think it's really structural because there's a bolt that goes through here and through the king post bracket that really holds it all in, but this kind of stops it from wiggling around, I think is really all it does and from coming off when you disassemble everything. So anyway, I had to re replace that rivet and um, I'm not very experienced with rivets. So uh, my existing rivet gun and rivets didn't seem to work. So I ended up buying this and a whole bunch of rivets and uh, yeah, got it in there. On this thing, I'm touching right here, this pan head bolt that goes in like that right through the keel. Uh, this nut was not going on all the way, and so I look. I had another uh, bolt, the same size, to swap in there. This is the old one, but it turned out that it was. Um, I looked at it close. I thought the threads were damaged, but it had some goo on it um, that stopped uh, this nut from going in. I think it was from this uh, friction tape that's underneath here. And um, what'll happen sometimes is people don't tighten the nut down all the way because trying to tighten it the other end with a Phillips. Screwdriver is terrible. You get no leverage and you just can't get it on um, because if, if there's anything mucking up this at all, then it's that nut's not going to go on. So this is what it should look like as with many other um, nuts. You want a couple threads showing on top at least. Now that I look at it set up, this base tube is pretty bent. The wheels are both 
towed in towards me like that. Uh, maybe we can kind of stand on it and bend it back, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, and packing it up, I just test flew it. Flies really good, actually. I was playing around uh, for a while on it. That nose batten, uh, I don't think that was really an issue. That thing being um, kind of flattened. Um, so I told him just uh, kind of leave it as it is, maybe. It felt pretty good to me. So that's it. Thanks for watching.